Well, Matt's amazing because he's really collaborative, you know? He really does want to know what his actors think and feel about the characters. And um, before I had the part but had read the script, um, I, you know, I kind of thought, why not just tell him honestly what I, what I think and what I feel, even though the part's not mine. And what was really important to me is that Selena didn't come off like a victim because she comes from a really troubled past. And I think there can be a little bit of a trap with female characters. Um, that come from troubled pasts or are vengeful in some way where they feel like a victim, and I don't think that's who she is. I think she's incredibly tough. And, um, you know, the fact that she has survived this far and the fact that she has the drive that she does. The other thing that I kind of brought to Matt was this idea of, of stray cats, of strays, you know, and I think that she's a stray herself. I think she looks at Batman as a stray, and I think that's what their, where their connection lies. I think that's what's so wonderful about this world is, you know, the exploration of the gray area. You know, it's not about black and white, it's not about good and evil. There's just so much in the gray and, and human beings are so complicated and it's so interesting and fun to watch that in-between space and to live in that in-between space. Matt's incredible. Matt is one of my favorite directors I've ever worked with. His um, dedication to the story, his desire to stay true to what's going on emotionally. And at the same time, he's very technical. Um, and his attention to detail is unlike anything I've ever seen. And, um, you know, he, ta he does a lot of takes. He goes until he gets it. And I really appreciate that, you know? And I think especially when you are working with someone who you completely trust and believe in, which doesn't happen all the time, you know? Even there's, there's been moments where, you know, I'm not, I don't quite understand what he's doing or what he's going for, but I completely surrender to him because I know that he knows what he's doing and it always turns out fantastic. And he's, again, so collaborative. Um, but I've, I don't think I've ever worked with someone who pays attention to detail like him. And turn, you know, he'll tell you to say a line, then take a breath, then put your hands down, then finish the line. You know, it's so specific, and this movie is so visual, those things really matter. Um, but it's been really amazing to work with a director who um, is in such control in a wonderful way, and yet at the same time is so collaborative. He, he, he really wants the actors to be a part of the process, um, make sure they're happy with what's going on. He really listens to to an idea, no matter how no matter how long he's been visualizing something one way. If someone comes up with an idea, he's always open to hear it, and um, that's really incredible. It's a true collaborative process, and his love for the story and his intention behind it is the thing that has drived us through this entire project. It was great, you know, Rob Alonzo and his whole team are just incredible people. I've, funny story, I've known Rob Alonzo since I was a kid. He used to teach me Taekwondo when I was seven. <laughs> so I hadn't seen him in a really long time and then we came back together here and I was like, I know you. Um, so we've been training for a very long time. Um, but it was great that, you know, he's really dedicated to um, it feeling real and feeling messy and feeling accurate, you know, we're, we're not, doing things that don't feel possible. I'm not wearing shoes I couldn't walk in. If I couldn't pick somebody up, I won't do it. You know, I think it's really about, he's, he's really concerned about it feeling grounded and real and um, being motivated by emotion. And that's really great. I lost my mind. I couldn't believe it when we were shooting a scene and, and, uh, and Matt said, he's like, you're not gonna recognize him. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Colin walked up to set and I was like, no, no. I, I couldn't believe it. And he walked right up to me and I was looking, like looking for Colin in there and I couldn't, 
I couldn't see him. Like I couldn't, I still to this day actually, because I've only met Colin a few times outside of this film, I feel like I don't know Colin Farrell. I, I know the Penguin, I know that guy, but I really only know that guy because Colin's a different person. And every once in a while, I would see Colin leaving after work and be like, who's that? Like, it's so crazy what they were able to do. And, and then also, what Colin was able to do, you know, really bring that character to life with his movements, the way he walked, the way he spoke, um, all of it. It was, I think, what he did with, with Oz was just impeccable.